All right, so this is the video I've been waiting for because I've been loving so far all the Glazerit paint, but I haven't done a satin job with them. So those doors finally came in for that Mercedes. If you guys seen in that video where I had showed you that charcoal uh, new EQS Mercedes. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and try out the satin clears as well as doing a nice blend with a charcoal. So the charcoals in the water base to me have always been the hardest in any of the actual orientation of the metallics. A lot of times guys will say silver, but I think charcoals are the worst. So in this video, not only do we have a satin, but we have the charcoal. So let's go over and show you guys the vehicle now. All right, so this here's the vehicle and it's got that nice charcoal on it. I like that in the satin. It really picks up well with that uh, metallic because you can still see the sparkle in it. So I'm a big fan of the charcoal satins. So we've got this one covered up because we got the parts removed as you guys know we do here. And we finally got the new doors in for this one and we're gonna be blending both ways on it as well as a new front bumper on it. So let me take you guys over and show you the parts. All right, so this here is one of the doors. And then I'll take you guys over to the parts rack. You guys know we like to have the parts racks here. The innovative tools keep everything organized out of the way and you don't have stands piled up all in your work area. So here is the other door, brand new. And then we have the small fenders right here. We'll get them out. And then the two rear doors and a mirror cap and then the new front bumper for it. So let's go ahead. We'll get these things loaded up, prepped out in the booth and shot. All right, we've got everything now in the booth and ready to go. All we're gonna do is do our final wash on it with the waterborne cleaner. We wax and greased it and we did our normal prep work. I showed you guys on there what we do normally here and that's what we did again. So I wanted to show you guys the emphasis on having your stuff set up in the right way on the stands as it would be on the vehicle. Through the years of painting, one thing I learned was don't make it harder on yourself by not having the right stands because that can actually ruin the job by laying them down or just having them up in ways that it's gonna make you have problems when you're spraying for maybe runs or something like that. So it's definitely a great investment to have the stands. You guys know we already had them here at the shop, but most of the crash champions, when they put up these new buildings, they're definitely buying all the right equipment. That way you're able to paint these things and not have that burdening you as part of the paint job. So. This one here is gonna be hopefully a nice clean job. We blew it off really well, and we're gonna hopefully get a nice outcome on it. But we're gonna take you guys over because with Glazerit, when you put in the paint code, it actually lets you know that this is a matte finish where they didn't do that with the PPG. So this one here will let you know what clear to put on it, what mixture, that way you're gonna have hopefully the exact sheen that you need as long as you put the application on correctly.
All right, so I wanted to show you guys this, and this is different from PPG. We're gonna go ahead and put in our paint code, which is 297, and then we're gonna search it normally. And it's got it right here, which is weird, in the matte finish. So I haven't seen that with the uh, PPG setup. Normally, it doesn't really show you the matte clears. You have to get it uh, dialed in yourself, where this one is gonna actually tell you what exact clear, how to mix it for that job. So I think that's a very good tip to you guys out there that are gonna be spraying something if you do have the glass or it, that you don't have to worry about it as much. You definitely wanna check your sheen with your spray out card because each paint is gonna absorb that clear differently and could give it a different sheen based off of how porous it is for the metallics or if it's a solid color. So always do a spray out no matter what. But this is gonna get you the one that Mercedes-Benz recommends for Glazerit. All right, so here's where it gets a little funny. So I called Pat and I was telling him about that. And he said that you can actually shoot that color with the camera, but when you go ahead and you put it in the system, there's a spot where it says matte clear. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it and see what it says. And I'm curious if I leave the code out, is it gonna pick that code even with the matte finish and give me the actual variant that it recommends? Because we do have a couple variants. So let's go over and shoot it and see what that camera says. I'm just joking around. Make sure you never obviously polish up the satin finish. This is just a joke, but you wanna make sure that you clean it because you're gonna need to give that camera the best chance of it reading it also because it's not gonna be as shiny. So it may struggle a little bit. So make sure you clean it off with the waterborne cleaner as well as the prep saw. That way you can get both type of contaminants off the panel and give that camera the best chance of it reading that color. All right, we'll go ahead and hook it up, get it in there, get it transferred over, and then we'll see what this thing is gonna tell us. All right, so we went ahead and we loaded it in, and you have your effect. Obviously, this is a metallic, so we hit metallic. Then there's a section here where it says matte. So we went ahead and hit matte. We put Mercedes, and we searched it, and it gave us an 86, which is gonna work out well for that color. And it's funny, it picked the darker. So there was a standard and there was a darker, and this is a service formula here. So this here FI means service formula darker. And we've got an 86 match, even on a matte finish. So that's gonna be a nice point to know that that camera will pick up some of these matte finishes. All right, so that's nice to know that that camera will pick up the matte finishes. I have used the camera in the past sometimes years ago when you had a really bad color Sometimes there was some tricks where you could sand that panel and that camera would actually pick it up better. So I don't use it so much. You guys know I showed you some tricks before that I do where I clear the matted part to get the actual camera to see it the best. That's what I think would work the best because obviously you're polishing up most of the time your parts to let that camera see it the best. So we're gonna roll with that darker and we're gonna see what that gets us when we start out here. Of course, we're gonna do our spray out card and check it and then we're gonna move through this job. All right, and I can't wait to show you guys this thing. You guys know I've been waiting on the lab coat from Luma. Check this thing out. Not only is this thing awesome looking, but it feels really good once you get it on. And I'll tell you what, you guys know that they always say that black makes you look skinnier. What do you think? You think I look better with the black? We definitely know we gotta work on slimming down, but at least this will make me look better maybe in the videos. Let me know if you guys think so as well, but not for nothing. I'm really happy about this Luma suit and uh, this will be hopefully my go-to lab coat from now on because I definitely am a big fan of black and uh, Crash actually has a lot of black as well in their uniform. So we're looking good now. We're going to go in there. We're going to get suited up. We'll start mixing our color and we'll start applying it on that job.
All right, so we've got our sealer on and you guys seen we sprayed the car that way we can check for our coverage. One thing I wanted to tell you is that I do differently now with the hunter line is I sand my sealer because you have one visit in there. With the PPG, you'd go in there, you'd put a coat, you'd let it dry, you'd come back in, you'd put a coat control coat on it. This one is one visit, so it's bang, bang. Once you get in with the base coat, you have to make sure that your foundation is spotless because you're not going back in there to put any more color on and then you're gonna be moving right into your clear. So I do that a little bit differently. Now I'll go in there, evaluate my sealer, check for any nibs. That way it's just boom, boom, get through the base and go ahead and clear it. So we're gonna go ahead and check out our spray out card and see how that looks and then we'll move through the job.
All right, so we applied our first coat of the Satin Clear. And this is the same thing as the other one from PPG. They want you to let that first coat fully mat out before you go in there for that second coat. And then once you go ahead, if you're gonna bake it, you wanna make sure that it is fully matted out. Don't have any discolorations and different gross levels with it before you actually hit bake. Let it all look the same. And then what I like to do is just give it a nice slow bake. I don't usually heat it up to 140, 150 like normal. I give it about 110 degrees for about a half hour. This stuff usually dries a lot quicker than the normal glossy clear. And so far, so good. You know, Pat, he was telling me it was good stuff. And he said, you know what? You didn't want to believe me before and you believe me about the other stuff. He says, you got to trust me. You're going to like this stuff. So he's right on the money. We'll go ahead and put that second coat on and then we'll check it out all finished up. All right, so I gotta give it up. Pat hasn't let me down yet. Since the transfer, he's been right on the money with everything he's told me about the new system here from Glazer with the Hunter line. So one thing I was worried about was that satin clear because we do a lot of those vehicles. And if that satin doesn't look right from the sheen, it's gonna make that color look off and it's gonna throw that whole job to me out the window. So I've gotten comfortable now with the clears and all the colors the primers and everything from Glazer. Nowhere near am I a pro at it yet, but I'm working and I'm getting better at it day to day. So now that I've got the satin down and I know that it's a good product, it just takes away a little bit of that stress level knowing that no matter what comes in the shop, I'll be able to handle it and have a nice outcome with it. So definitely, definitely a nice product. And uh, we gotta give Pat another thumbs up on the satin clear as well as Glazer it. So, we're ready to roll now. Whether you got a gloss or you got a matte, a satin, whatever you've got, we can handle it here again over here at Crash Champions in Land O'Lakes. 
So I hope you guys got something out of this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.